this event will start tomorrow night, but we've actually have enhanced staffing going on for the next 24 hours. Uh, 7 a.m. in the morning, Ocean Drive's gonna get closed until Tuesday morning. We're also gonna start at 7 p.m. our Alpha Bravo with our outside agencies. We're gonna have a license plate reader in the MacArthur Causeway. We're gonna have a DUI checkpoint Friday night only. If you're coming to Miami Beach, you're gonna be on the traffic loop, and that traffic loop is gonna take you throughout the entertainment district. If you decide not to use one of the several parking lots or valet ramps, you're gonna be directed out of Miami Beach again. It's quite a long drive, so we suggest you come to Miami Beach, park in one of our parking lots, and enjoy the festivities. We have a total of 600 officers, that's including all 385 from Miami Beach. The rest are from outside agencies. 75% of those resources are gonna be utilized during the midnight and early morning hours, 25% throughout the day when we have less calls for service. Last year, when we have it this year again, we have cameras that are feeding live feeds over to our command center, letting us get a bird's eye, real-time view of what's going on in any particular area of the entertainment district. It helps us with resource deployment, and knowing what type of calls the officers are headed to. In addition to that, we're gonna have Skywatch Towers that are gonna to be manned by police officers that are gonna be able to monitor the crowds and, and direct resources in any direction where they, they seem to think that we need to be sending them to. The barricades are gonna to be to keep the pedestrians out of our streets because we're gonna have Collins Avenue change. The traffic pattern is actually gonna be one way north on Collins and then Washington Avenue is gonna be one way south. So if you're not familiar with Miami Beach, just to keep the pedestrians safe, we're going to have the barricades up to keep them on the sidewalks and out of the street. The big buses from Miami Day Corrections is always, uh, we bring them every year. We've never had to use them. It's for mass arrests, uh, but it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them type situation. Uh, overall, it's been our, it's going to be our 14th year of a, of a plan, 15 years of Memorial Day. The first year was the one where we kind of caught, got caught off guard. Uh, we think it's going to be successful. We're gonna, there's three components that we're trying to keep happy and that's obviously our residents, our visitors and our business owners and hopefully they all three of them leave here with a good taste in their mouth after this weekend's over.